Hi, question number seven, taken from June 2015, Advanced Level Maths, HSC M1. A small ring R is attached to one end of a light inextensible string of length 70 centimeters. A fixed raft vertical wire passes through the ring. The other end of the string is attached to a point A on the wire, vertically above R. A horizontal force of magnitude 5.6 Newton is applied to the point J of the string 30 cm from A and 40 cm from R. The system is in equilibrium with each of the parts AJ and JR of the string tout N angle AJR is equal to 90 degrees in the diagram. Now we need to find the tension in the part AJ of the string and find the tension in the part JR of the string. Also the ring has a mass of 0.2 kilograms and is in limiting equilibrium on the point of moving up the wire. Show that the coefficient of friction between R and the wire is 0.341 correct to three significant figures. Also a particle of mass m kilograms is attached to R and R is now in limiting equilibrium on the point of moving down the wire. Given that the coefficient of friction is unchanged, find the value of m. Okay. Now for the first part, to find the tension in that string and that string as well, what I would find first of all is the length of AR. By Pythagoras theorem, we know that AR is equal to the square root of 30 to the square plus 40 to the square, which is going to give us 50 centimeters. Also, I'm going to call this theta and this alpha. Now, we can find the sine of the angle. So sine of alpha is equal to the opposite of the hypotenuse. So 3 over 5, which is then 0 0.6. And also the um, sine of uh, alpha is going to be the opposite 4 over 5. So 4 over 5, which is 0 0.8. And uh, what is the sine of 0 0.6? It's going to give us 36.9. Okay. So here we have 36.9 alpha and therefore we have 36.9 plus 90, 126.9. So this is 126.9. Now for the other one, the inverse sine of 0 0.8 is 53.1. Add up to 90, 143.1. So this angle here is then 143.1. Now, where do we go from here? We can use Lamy's theorem 5.6 over the sine of 90. So by Lamy's theorem, we're going to say 5.6 over the sine of 90 degrees is equal to the tension along GR tension along AJ, whatever, okay, so A over the sine of 126.9 is equal to GL, the tension along GL, divided by the sine uh, of 143.1. From here, what is the tension along AJ? It's going to be cross multiply 5.6 times this. So 5.6 multiplied by the sine of 126.9 divided by the sine of 90. So 5.6 multiplied by the sine of 126.9, 4.478. So 4.48 newtons. Also, we need to find the tension along R, GR. So cross multiply this. So therefore we have tension along GR is going to be 5.6 multiplied by the sine of 143.1 divided by the sine of 90 degrees. And that's going to give us 4.4 3.36. So the answer to that part is 3.36 newton. Now, 
For the second part, we need to show that the coefficient of friction between R and the wire is 0.341. Remember that the object here has a weight of 0.2 gram g newton. Okay, so in order to be able to find the coefficient of friction, first of all, I'm going to resolve forces horizontally and vertically. So if I resolve horizontally in this direction, it doesn't contain the angle. So I got the tension here in that string, JR. Tension in JR is 3.36. Therefore, I'm going to say, so the angle is here, 3.36. This is the contact force normal, which is N. So I'm going to say 3.36 times the uh, sine of theta is equal to n and therefore that's going to be the sine of theta is 0 0.6 so we have then um, 3.36 times 0 0.6 2.016 so n is going to give us 2.016 newton resolving vertically remember this is 0 0.2 g newton so vertically I can say the force acting upward, which is then 3.6, 3.36, this time it contains the angle, but by cos of theta, okay, because it contains the angle, minus 0 0.2 g newton is equal to the force. Okay, so what do we have? The force is then 3.36 met by the cos of theta. What is cos? Cos is a descent over hypotenuse 4 over 5, which is 0 0.8 so times 0 0.8. Okay, so that's going to give us this much 2.2688, sorry, 2.688 minus 2 is equal to the force. So minus 2 is going to give us 0 0.688. Now, what do we know as well? We know that. Um, the force is equal to mu r, and here r is equal to n. So the force is going to be mu n. Therefore, mu is going to be the force divided by n. And the force we found it to be um, what was the force? 0 0.6 double eight divided by n 2.016. So let's do that. It's going to give us three zero point three four one. So now we have it zero point three four one to three significant figures, and this has been shown. So here we are for the second part. Now for the third part of this question, we are told that um, an object of m kilograms is attached to R. Suppose this is R. The weight was 0 0.2 kilo, I mean 0 0.2 grams newton. Now there's an object here attached to this uh, part of the uh, diagram, and this is of m kilogram. Therefore, the total weight is going to be 0 0.2 now plus m g newton. Remember, the force is still there. That is um, 3.36 newton. This is theta. And the force of friction, we are told, is the same. It hasn't changed. The coefficient of friction hasn't changed. So what is going to happen? We need to find the um, m, right? The weight of m. How are we going to do this? We're going to be resolving vertically. So I've got 3.36. The object is about to move downward. So the tension here is trying to pull it upward. Therefore, we got uh, 3.36, okay, times the cos of the angle, all right, plus the force of friction because all of that is acting upward, okay, plus the force of friction, and then you minus the force acting downward. So, 0 0.2 um, plus m g newton. And because it's in equilibrium, it's going to be 
equal to zero. So we got then 3.36 times the cos of uh, theta, which is 0 0.8, plus the force of friction. The force of friction is mu r. Mu is 0 0.341 meter by r, and r we found it earlier on to be 2.016. So this is uh, r, which is n. Okay, is equal to, and this all of that can go on the other side. 0 0.2 plus m times g is taken as 10 here. Therefore, let's do everything on our calculator. And uh, so we have then 3.36 times 0 0.8. So that's going to be 2.688 plus um, 0 0.341 times 2.016, which is 0 0.687. Four, five, six. The ten is divided. I mean, it's multiplied. You send it on this side becomes divide. Zero point two comes on this side minus zero point two. And all of that's going to be equal to m. Therefore, m is going to be two point six double eight minus the answer. This much divided by ten. This much, and uh, you minus zero point two. What is that? Um, Sorry, so 2.6 plus that divide by 10. Hang on, 2.6 double eight, okay, um, plus 0.687456. This much divided by 10 minus 0.2. So m is going to be then 0. 1375456 so we have it then uh, we have it then 0 0.138 uh, so here we are kgs all right and this is the uh, value of m question is taken uh, this is question number 7 from june 2015 Eleven maths, HSC, M1. So take care.